my name is Jeremy Caulfield, and uh, you're in. It's in Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of boring. My name is Jeremy Caulfield, and I'm from Toronto, Canada, and uh, I live in Berlin now, and I run Dumbunit. And my name is Cesare Marchese, I live in Berlin, I'm Italian, of course, and uh, I run Mean Serialism, Mean Serialism? Yeah. Mean and Serialism, and I'm an artist on Dumbunit too, and uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, I think a big thing for me was I lived in Hong Kong uh, when I was a teenager, um, 15, 16, 17. Before that I was really a rock and roll kid, growing up on alternative and you know grunge played a big part during uh, uh, the, late, uh, the early 90s. And then when I moved to Hong Kong there was a lot of British expat DJs there and they were playing um, a lot of rave stuff and a lot of uh, early house. Uh, more electronic, early electronic stuff, even stuff like KLF and, uh, and Spiral Carpets, so Manchester crossover sound. And uh, yeah, so I really, it was something new for me because one, I never had really been to discos as they called it. And I was young and uh, there's no real carding laws there, so they let you in everywhere no matter what your age. And I had a lot of friends into that. And then when I got back to Canada, I kind of brought that passion back with me. and. Uh, it was infectious on a lot of my friends too, so we started going to raves and I was kind of h helping them find music and that they hadn't been uh, familiar with before and then they started doing stuff and then it all spiraled from there. So. Uh, well, um, I started like um, studying music when I was a kid like playing different instruments and then like step by step like when I was a teenager I went into like different kind of music and and um, I met electronic music like starting through like hip-hop and drum and bass and uh, then like moved to London uh, in 2001 and I started to get in contact with uh, house and techno and since then I went you know towards that kind of sound but uh, in my life, I, I used to love like a lot of different kind of music, you know, like from you know like rock, punk to hip hop, trip hop, jazz, classical music, anything really. And uh, well, now it's like electronic music is my job. I love it, but uh, of course I still like enjoy listening like a lot of different kind of music too. It was around 2000 when I started. Well, the, our concept and idea came in, uh, I, I, for the millennium, I went driving by myself uh, through the desert for a bit and uh, went skiing like down in Salt Lake City. And I was not bored at the time, but I was doing graphic design. I was working at a cool firm uh, and I had a lot of access to printers and uh, good computers. So I really started it on a graphic side with knowing a lot of friends making music. And uh, so I started it as more of like an art project. I wasn't making music at the time, I was a DJ. And uh, then I met Jake Fairley and I don't know, we didn't even know each other, but I, I listened to him one night and I liked the energy that his music had. And we just became friends and uh, that was the first release. And when it came out, it went in a strange direction. It wasn't really the way I had intended it to go. Uh, it was the compact guys and the cologne guys that really picked up on the sound and I was playing a little bit of their stuff but I was still much more of a tech house DJ and so you know it was strange because I was hoping to do more of a tech house label back then but it turned into more of a minimal techno label and then I just started really loving that music and uh, followed it from there so it was my idea at first but Jake's Fairley, Jake Fairley's music that led Dumb unit to becoming more of the sound that it was. So, well, I was living in London. This was like 2005, and um, well, I was um, I was producing music since long time, 
and um, but I wasn't really like um, you know safe on sending music to the label that I loved that I was playing. So like my music was quite random at the time and really not following any any kind of like you know trend or or sound. I just was doing what was coming out. And uh, nothing, I decided to like open up my label and start to put out records for myself and then eventually for some friends that were around me, they were doing like a sound that was, you know, like compatible to what I was doing too. And it started Mean Records. Then one year later I met another friend and uh, we started Serialism. That it, it actually went on another direction. Mean is like more electronic, more experimental, and it actually reflects my sound at the time. And um, Serialism, uh, it became like a way for me and for other friends around me to put out something more like friendly, DJ friendly, so like more towards you know dance floor music, techno, and house. Um. Oh, there's a lot. Um, I mean, happily, and I've always said it before in other uh, interviews, I'm usually quite happy right in the moment. Like now, I'm very happy with the crew that we have for Dumb Unit and also the friendships. I think before when I was doing Dumb Unit, like I didn't always, you don't always understand how much you have to be friends with the people on your label to really make it work, you know, especially if you want to keep it a small label because I'm also an artist, so I have people working with me, helping me with the label. But I, I'm still not somebody sitting in an office all day that wants to manage like 50 artists, you know? I want to be with just a core group. So right now with Walker and Agarak and Cesare and uh, Seth and... You put me third? What? You put me third in the list? Yeah, because right. you're sitting right next to me. <laughs> I'm getting jealous, huh? Yeah, maybe I'll put... Wait, let me start again. Walker and Agarak, Seth... Uh, <laughs> no, but like us, we're traveling a lot, so these are really good times right now. And we have a good booker, and we have good people working for us. So right now, I'm really excited, and it feels great after running a label for 10 years that potentially the best times could be ahead. And uh, yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> it actually works for me the same. Like I, I really like to leave and go with the flow. I mean, the last 10 years has been great. Like I've been traveling more and more, um, producing music with like great labels, um, becoming really good friends of uh, Seth, uh, Walker, Bernard, uh, Agaric, and Jeremy Caulfield. And um, yeah, I mean, I love my life. <laughs> Put me so low, in <laughs> so low in the fourth. It's okay. <laughs> no? uh, well, I d there've been like great moments actually. Like traveling, like is beautiful, and every time I meet some really nice people. Um, you know, like um, I, I get to know to like different cultures, different ways of seeing life, of partying, of having fun, and um, well, that's actually took too much drugs, and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I always have fun coming home kind of you know and going to Watergate and having my friends around and last time I played maybe six seven hours and the time before that around eight and so it was, it's really nice because it feels like you've been on the road and you have these ideas that sometimes they work sometimes they don't you try them maybe you don't know the crowd or you wish something but then when you come home you kind of you know you have your friends that really know your music they know your passion they're out there supporting they're they're you know they've got free drinks in them, <laughs> they've got all our drink tickets. I don't uh, know. Yeah, he doesn't drink anymore. So I really love coming home to Watergate and playing like a long extended set on the water floor, which is really nice. So my last one, the last time, was really fun. And again, yeah, it's just, it's just about making the things that you've tried over the last couple months really come together for home. It's always the best, I think. I really enjoy going to Russia. I really enjoy going to States. I love to play in London, in Fabric. Yeah, like every uh, place has, every memory, place has right? yeah, every place has a different feeling, and you, you play differently, different kind of music. The crowd is different. In some places, we are like treated like stars. In some other places, we are treated like nobody. It's like you know, it's always nice to have yeah. different experiences. Yeah, yeah. You know, I really like that. You know, it's I every every weekend. When we were coming here, we were thinking yeah. like, oh, what's gonna happen? You know, and yeah, exactly. 
We know the city, but we never play in this club, so we don't know what's gonna happen. We just go with the flow and see, you know, like, sure, we will have fun. Yeah. Well, we've been in the studio together a yep. lot, and uh, so Chez has got a new EP with uh, two really nice tracks by himself and then uh, a remix by myself on it, taking an interpretation of one of his tracks. And uh, tuned together. And then they're t and then our tune together, yeah, which is so that's a big thing for us. We had a you know, we worked through the winter a lot, got to know each other's working habits and patterns and really enjoyed it. And then uh, moved into a new studio recently and are, are doing our kind of, uh, and it's a really nice studio, a really good sound now, and uh, we have a nice setup, a nice analog board, Midas, and which I'm sharing it, we are sharing it with Walker Barnard too. So it's just a bunch of music heads and it's really nice. And so that's a big EP. I'm also worked with Seth on some stuff in there. Um, and so that's coming out shortly. And then I'm really getting back into my groove of working on my own uh, things. Uh, so that's a little bit further ahead. And then the next EP uh, is, is Avatism. Uh, Thomas uh, from, um, well, now he's living in Milan. And so this is another exciting thing to bring a new person into the label, uh, which I don't do so often. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I think it's good, and it fits the sound that we I've been looking for for the label and for my friends to play, and so yeah, you can see previews already on SoundCloud and on Facebook. And well, well, well um, instead on series, men on mean. Okay, like uh, on Min Records, next one is uh, Easy Changes with a remix from Doubting Thomas, which is a really good friend from London. Well, Easy Changes are from Russia. They're good friends since long time. And they're actually the ones that brought me in Russia a long time ago for the first time. We became really good friends, so they started to put out music on my label too. Then uh, next in line is uh, Benjamin Fair with a smashing EP. Then it's like uh, five years of Mean Records, um, like a compilation split in different parts with uh, myself, uh, Rudolf, Akiko Kiyama, Easy Changes from Karaoke to Stardom, um, Digital In, Benjamin Fair, and like a couple of like bands that we signed recently. It's like uh, Anya Princess and the Amateurs and Dots. And instead on series, well, now like at the moment is out uh, Anthony Constance, that is a French uh, young guy that lives in Berlin, that uh, recently got, um, you know, like near, got close to our label, our crew. Uh, then with Marcus Vector remix, then in a few days will be out uh, Rainer, uh, who is another really good friend from London. Uh, with um, a track with myself and a remix from uh, Tale of Us and Sean Reeves. Then uh, will be like a compilation of called London Cuts with like myself, um, Oniric, who is uh, my partner on the labels, uh, Cesar Merveil from Cadenza and uh, Arnaud Le Texier and some other kids from the label. Then is uh, Sierra Sam with uh, Jay Hayes remix. And uh, then we have, uh, well, we have a, um, a EP from Oniric, one EP from Quenum that I'm really proud to, you know, to introduce. And yeah, well, we are pretty busy until spring 2012. And, and Jeremy today, Jeremy today just told me that he, he want to do a remix finally. I've been asking him for about three years and he finally is ready. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, yeah, Japan was good. Tokyo um, was interesting. Uh, wasn't my favorite time in Tokyo, but uh, in uh, Sapporo was really, really nice. And that's uh, a northern city. It looks a lot like Canada. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like Canada at all. It's Japan. Uh, but the countryside looked like, and just amazing people, great ramen, and Precious Hall, the club, is really amazing. It has custom-built tone arms on the turntables. Uh, it's all weighted properly. 
Um, the sound system is really amazing and it's just that uh, typical Japanese attention to detail that makes playing there and hanging out with, the, uh, with people from Japan really exciting. Um, of course, you know, Japan's going through a bit, still a bit of a hard time. It's hard, like you didn't really see so much damage or anything and also the Japanese I think are very internalized about feelings and so didn't talk so much about it. Um, but you can, and but you could definitely see that I could feel it a little bit lower, of course, than on other times because it's still quite fresh, you know, like the disaster was still quite fresh. But overall, uh, it's still an amazing country, it's really resilient, and I think uh, anybody that is going to Japan is always in for a really special treat. So. Uh, design. Chocolate. <laughs> uh, we'll see <laughs> tonight. Warehouse. <laughs> you cheated, you looked around. <laughs> At hockey, we would win. At football, we would lose. <laughs> right? To, we don't even have a football team. You're supposed to answer with one word. With one word? No, it doesn't have to be with one word. Oh, okay. Win, lose. Mountains. Mountains. Good one. Immigrants. Lots of Italians in Canada. Lots of Canadians in Italy. No. No <laughs> man. <laughs> I think you're the only one. And you're not in Italy anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, amazing. Big supporters and big fans. That's why we're doing uh, the interview for you guys. Thank you. I don't speak German. <laughs> what, what did he say? I see you. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Let's party. Let's party. This is Jeremy Caulfield from Domune for Room Fear and Axis. This is Chesar versus Disorder for Room Fears and Axis. <laughs> is it right? That's perfect.